What is going on everyone, my name is Josh aka No Comparison and in today's video we're going to be doing a benchmark between three different graphics cards. The three we're going to be testing in today's video is a GTX 760, a 770 and a 960. Just for reference, the video you're watching right now is also being used with a 960, so it's not going anywhere below 170 and it's also not going anywhere over 260. So without further delay, let's jump straight into the video. Okay guys, so the first one we're using right now is the GTX 760 by Galaxy. It's a 2GB card, it's nothing amazing, but you also have to keep in mind it's a reference blower, which means that it's only got one fan pushing the air out the back of the computer. So these weren't really designed to be the most amazing performing card, but I think it did pretty well for its when it came out. Okay, so the card scored 5,174 overall. Uh, which isn't really a bad score. It's not amazing, but again, it's a reference card and it's only a 760 So let's jump onto the next ones and we'll see how high they score Okay guys now we're on to our second graphics card and this is the EVGA 770 now This is the super clock version that we're using so I'm pretty sure it's obviously got a higher megahertz rate um, It's obviously a better card and I'm not 100% sure if it's 4 gig 3 gig or 2 gig But I'm betting my money on this a 2 gig version Okay, so this one obviously scored a much higher benchmark of 7440. Now, this is very, um, it's actually quite good for how old the car is, to be fair. It's, what, two generations old now? We're in the 10 series. So the next one we're going to be doing is the 960, so that's going to be a generation higher than the two cards we've been doing. Um, you'll be probably slightly surprised, but 7440, that's an amazing benchmark for such an old card. Okay guys, now that we're onto the last card of all three, it's the Gigabyte GTX 960. It's only got 2GB of RAM as well, so it's not like we've really been boosting up the clock on it. Um, so we haven't been going from like 2 gigs to 4 gigs to 2 gigs. It's all been 2 gigs across the whole platform, I believe, except for the 770, but I believe that's 2 gigs as well. Um, so without further delay, let's show you the benchmarks of this one, and you might be a little bit surprised. Okay, so now you can see the benchmark. It scores at 6608, so 6608. Um, now this is quite surprising considering it's actually the 960 of the 9th gen so you'd really think that maybe because it's obviously a newer card and it's got a lot more power saving and all that fancy crap you'd think it'd actually score higher than that but it's pretty funny to see the older card flog the new card when you can get the older card for around the same price as the newish card. It all just depends if you want to have the latest and greatest which isn't actually the latest and greatest anymore but it all just really depends if you want to have a newer card over an older card but for more bang for your buck you should probably buy the 770. Okay guys, just one more thing. I actually had a 7970 in position to be put into this video, um, but as I went to use it, it all just died on me. So once it hit 100% load, it just crashed and it didn't want to work. So this is pretty much just an NVIDIA GPU comparison. So thank you for watching the video. If you learned anything or you like it, please drop a like down below. And if you like my content, please subscribe. It really helps you out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.